speaking with Terry Goodman, designer and builder of the Goodman Railmaster and the uh, the rail he's just sitting on here, uh, big C box. And what's the purpose of uh, the Railmaster, and why'd you build it? I started working on uh, designing the Railmaster, basically to be able to move all sorts of stuff um, from rails to uh, utility stuff that we run around, propane tanks, uh, boxes for. Uh, special events and uh, many other different things. The uh, advice for the uh, mountain and uh, our management is super happy, especially because of the labor costs have gone down. We're not a big mountain. We only sell about 150,000 tickets a year. So labor is a huge thing up here. It's typical blade hooks that everybody uses. You can't go into narrow places and you can't get over things because if anything's over 20 feet wide, you're stuck. This gives you good visibility. You can see these trees are coming out. There's no way you're going to get a 30 foot rail through these trees. But, what the rail master? I just pick them up and go over them. your crew's learning curve, we designed the Railmaster to operate off the same controls and hydraulics that are used for the blade. Many new operators can be out to work in a matter of minutes. Items can be lifted 13 feet in the air with a 12-way moving mass that has a load capacity of 3,000 pounds. In addition to make the Railmaster even more cost effective, we've designed the removal and attachment to be quick and easy. The quick mounting system allows the operator to switch from the rail master to the blade or back in about 10 minutes. Somewhere down there in uh, New Zealand, you had, you had one down there. How'd it go? Uh, how'd it go down there in the land down under? Just awesome. Did Snow Park, one of the one of the best parks in in the southern hemisphere, at least, and maybe even northern. Did your uh, joystick work all backwards down there, like the toilet <laughs> spin the wrong way? Or? No, but the drivers do. <laughs> <laughs> they were American. Too, yeah. Oh boy. We use these. We use these for everything. When we have an event coming up, you know, we used to put stuff in the snowmobile tub and haul it up there. Uh, That's on a pallet. This year, this year we did all new signage on the mountain, and it required a lot of electrical uh, or electronic signs that were 70, 80, 100 pounds a piece. And the old day, they'd, they'd go for the ladder and, and uh, do it that way. But this, we could put a platform on there, raise it up, and it could work in comfort. And uh, taking a big. Uh, Big Honda snowblower up to the summit. We used to have to load it in a, another uh, food and beverage snow cat and then uh, haul it up there and offload it. We just put it on a pallet, drive it up, and drop it off. And, uh, we hauled a big generator the other day with this and uh, it just goes on and on. You want 
retrieve the snowmobile, just drive up, scoop up the snowmobile from the mountain, bring it back in. And uh, it just it goes on and on and on. Absolutely.